Um, so the area around a uh, moving charged particle where you can feel a force, that's what a field is. The unit for that is Teslas. Yep. As in Nikola Tesla. No, not not SpaceX Tesla. Not, not that. <laughs> yeah, not not model whatever Qs or stupid. Not not Elon Musk. Um, one thing to keep in mind: Teslas are kind of a big unit. So what I mean by that is, like, frequently your answers are going to be small, like really small. If the for if the Teslas if the field is really big, like one of the problems you're going to do, the it's like 140, like that's going to give you like stupid big answers for things. So like. Just be prepared for it not to work out the way you expect it to work out. Um, just because, like, this unit itself, one Tesla is a lot of magnetic field. So just kind of keep that in mind. All right, what's the equation to find the strength of a magnetic field around a wire? Okay, it's going to look nasty. I'm just warning you. It's going to look nasty. It's actually not, but it's going to look gross. Okay, here's the equation. B equals now b is magnetic field obviously <coughs> yeah i'll sometimes call them b fields but b is magnetic field okay so that's b equals mu not so mu is the greek letter yeah it's like a funky u but it has a little zero at the end, at the bottom, uh, because mu naught is different than mu. Mu is a different thing. Um, mu is a uh, coefficient of friction. So this is mu naught, which is a constant. I'll tell you what it is in a second. Okay. Uh, divided by 2 pi. Is that an M-O or M-Z? Uh, it's a M-0, oh. technically. M I see what you're doing. Yeah. Um, divided by 2 pi. The reason for the 2 pi is uh, when you did the notes, you talked about the direction of magnetic fields around wires. And the direction the magnetic field wires is around the wire, so it's circular. That's where the 2 pi comes from because the field itself is circular. And then that is times I over D. So I is the current... I is the current of the wire that makes the field. Again, we're looking for the strength of the field around a wire. Okay? D is how from, so how far from the wire you are looking. So when you're solving for the magnetic field, I'm looking at how far away from the wire am I solving for it. So um, here's an example. You have a wire coming out of the page. When we're doing wires, I'm going to stick with out of the page and into the page. By the way, out of the page looks like this. That means it's like coming at your eyeball. It's like looking at the wire, like coming at you. Um, if you're wondering why it's this symbol, so the circle is the wire and the dot is like an arrow coming at you. So like if you were looking at an arrow coming at your face, which would be not great, but if it was coming at your face, you'd see like the point of the tip of the arrow. Okay. Um, going away, so into the page... is an X. It's like looking at the arrow going away from you and you see the fins at the back uh, of it. So this is uh, into the page. <coughs> so when we're talking about how far from the wire we're looking, remember that the magnetic field goes in a circular path around the wire. What I'm looking for, D, 
would be if I'm looking for the field here, how far away from the wire am I? That's what D is. So it's how far out from the wire am I looking for the magnetic field? Okay. Okay, um, we should probably talk about this thing. <laughs> so this thing, mu naught, it's a constant, um, which means it doesn't change, obviously. Uh, it is, just be prepared to not like it, uh, it's called the permeability of free space. That's, that's the real name. Permeability of free space. Now, if you're wondering what on this green planet does that mean? So it means how well magnetic fields travel through space. That's what it means. How well do magnetic fields travel through space? That's what that number is. So in general, all magnetic fields, how do they travel through space? That's what that value is. Uh, not to be confused with the permittivity of free space, which is how well electric fields travel through space. Okay. Um, but this is the permeability of free space. You don't have to memorize the name. You just need to understand what mu naught is. Mu naught is how well do magnetic fields travel through space? That's what it is. Um, it also is a constant, which means it has a value to it. And here's the value. Mu naught equals 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th. That's the value. You don't have to memorize it. I'll give it to you. Four pi times ten to the negative seven. Sweet. Okay, so that's how we solve the value for magnetic field. What we need to figure out now is how do we figure out the direction of magnetic field? So the direction for the magnetic field will always be clockwise or counterclockwise. Always. Which is different than what we've done in the past. And technically that's cheating. You can't really do that. Uh, but it's fine for our purposes. So counterclockwise or clockwise. So how do I figure that out? Use the right hand rule. So here's how the right hand rule works. You take your right hand, okay? Your thumb is the current. So your thumb is either going to point away from you if it's into the page, or it's going to point towards you if it's out of the page. I will always do into or out of the page, always, okay? So let's say, huh? But the paper, like your actual paper that you're looking at. So like if it's the test, it's like, and I always like, here's how I think about it. I think about it as like holding it in front of me. Like if I'm looking at my test, it's like holding the test in front of me and like out of the page towards my face or into the page. If you look down on it, it'll work the same way. Uh, but out of the page or into the page. Okay. So, how do I use the right hand rule? So, my thumb is the current and my fingers are the field. All you have to do is you stick your thumb in the direction the current goes and then you wrap your fingers around and that's the direction of the field. Okay? You can do it the other way too. You can, if I said the field is uh, counterclockwise, I can rotate my hand fingers counterclockwise and my thumb is the direction of the current. So, you can do it either way. So, when you're doing the right hand rule, again, your thumb is the current. Your thumb is the direction of the current. Okay? And your fingers curl in the direction of the field. So, how did I know to draw this one? Um, 
this way. So I just guess. I, I didn't actually think about it. So let's see if I did it right. What were you saying? Couldn't you just think like a way is clockwise and towards you is counterclockwise? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's worth like it's worth making sure you know why that's the case in case you forget or whatever. Um, so if it's coming out of the page, okay, there it is pointing in my face. Okay, wrap my fingers around. So the direction would be counterclockwise. So I actually drew this one wrong just for smiles and grins. So it'd be counterclockwise going around like that. Into the page. Okay, stick your thumb into the page. Wrap your fingers around. That would make it clockwise. So it would go something like this. <laughs> now, the left hand rule. You can do the left hand rule, but it's always going to be the opposite answer. So if you do the left hand rule, there is no left hand rule. But if you use your left hand, you're going to get backwards answers. Okay. So like, if you want to do that, you can. But like, I feel like you shouldn't, Brian. Just the right <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like Brian would forget that step of flip the answer. First, I have to use the rule to figure out which is my right and left. There you go. Yeah. And then use the right. <laughs> Uh, uh, here's the other thing I should mention. There are two right hand rules, so don't get them confused. Uh, this right hand rule is just for field caused by wires. That's all this one is for. This right hand rule is just um, fields caused by wires. That's it. Okay. Any questions on this page before we flip around to the back? Hey, let's flip around to the back. Let's do an example problem. Let's do an example here. All right, what is the magnitude and the direction of a magnetic field 0.02 meters away from a 2 amp wire that is going into the page? Okay, so it's going into the page. So that's this going into the page. All right, I'm going to use my right hand rule to figure out the direction. There is the direction of the current going in. I'm going to wrap my fingers around. So it's going to go clockwise around. It could be. Okay. And I'm looking for the magnetic field 0.02. I'm looking for the field 0.02 meters away. And the current is 2 amps. So I use the equation that I had. B equals mu naught over 2 pi times I, which is 2, over uh, D, which is 0 0.02. Okay, so all you got to do is plug the stuff in. That's it. So mu naught is uh, 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th over 2 pi times 2 over 0 0.02. Now, I've got new good news. For these problems, mu naught and uh, the 2 pi will always simplify down to 2 times 10 to the negative 7th. It will always simplify down to that. It will always simplify down to that every time. Okay. If you're wondering why don't we just make this mu naught, um, it's because that's not the actual value. Um, this number here is only for this particular equation. There's other equations where that didn't work for. Um, so that's why we have that. So all I got to do is plug in my calculator. Uh, 2 times 10 to the negative 7th times 2 divided by 0 0.02 gives me a value of 2 times 10 to the negative 5th Teslas. And again, remember, one Tesla is a big value. This is a current only of 2 amps. That's not a particularly large field. Um, and so our number ends up being very small, and that's fine. Okay. And 
and the direction for this would be, um, I wanted the magnitude and the direction, so the direction for this one is clockwise. Two, because the pi's cancel, okay. and the two changes the four into a two. Okay. Here's what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to do numbers one and two on the practice. Um, one small change I want you to make to number two. So it says uh, straight wire carries a current out of the page. Determine the magnitude of the current and the direction. So we're doing that of current. 0 0.05 meters below the wire where the magnetic field is 140 teslas counterclockwise. Okay. So um, I want you to solve for the direction of the current given the direction of the field. As opposed to this other one which wants you to find the direction of the field given the direction of the current. So just keep that in mind uh, for number two. But I want you to have some time for number two. Again, the equation that we have here, there's only one so far. B equals mu naught over 2 pi times I over D. And the value for mu naught equals 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7. So try number two, try number one, see what you can get. I'll come around and answer any questions you have. Uh, if you're having trouble getting numbers or your calculator's not working, let me know.